Hello, hello everyone. I'm Lisa from Crafting and Cruising. We're a couple of minutes late. Sorry about that. Trying to get it all together. We're at the river. And I wish y'all could see the view, but if I turn the table around, then everything's kind of in the shade. So I don't think you want to see that. So anyway, when you hop on, stay high and tell me what you have going on this weekend. We are, we've enjoyed kind of a quiet day inside and we are going to dinner tonight with two of my, oh, that got light again, Czech Savvy Sisters, there we go, from um, New York. And guess what, I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb, sorry about that. Um, do we have a cord plug in here for my fan? Hold on, you guys, I gotta, I gotta uh, turn the fan on so I can get some air. It's hot. Uh, so, we're going to meet Diane Cardello and Janine Olney from New York, and I'm super, super excited. I cannot wait to see both of them, hug their necks. It's been since, I guess, last year in Kansas City is where we met, um, and we're in the Czech Savvy Sisterhood together, and we just love it. So, we're going to do a project today that, oh, it feels so good. We're going to do a project today that can be done anytime and can be used anytime, but I feel like it's especially good at Christmas time because you can use it for gifts, you can use it to put on gifts, you can use it for um, just anywhere around your house, you can make them as pretty as you want or as neutral as you want. I think some people make them and use at weddings um, I'm not sure if they actually make like bouquets for the bride and the, hey Veronica, and the um, bridesmaids out of it or if they just make like centerpiece table, centerpieces for the tables. But anyway, the sky's the limit. So let me tell you what I'm, I'm making this with. I'm making it with wax paper, parchment paper, coffee filters, and I'm using the brown kind. I was going to actually coffee stain some until I found that uh, my friend Sana, where we are, had some of the brown ones, so we're going to um, use those. And then I have a lot of oriental papers or pieces of oriental papers that I got when I was taking watercolor classes at a place in Nashville called Plaza Art Supply. So I took classes there and then we could go out and shop. And um, I got a lot of these simple oriental papers like this that could be used and incorporated into my watercolor um, paintings. So, see this is almost like the rice paper that we use to print on. So, I've got several different ones. I've got some in white and some in cream. And I've already made a sample to show you that I used some of this. Um, this is actually a tissue paper too. It, it crinkles real well. So, um, Candace, hey. So anyway, I'm gonna show you the one that I made with that. So here's how they end up. Hey, Joyce. Let me open it up. Hey, Joyce. So can you see this little flower that is flat on the back? So you could put it on a gift instead of a ribbon, like my gift of wax. Um, you could put it on a box. You could even put it on hair clips. It'd be cute for a hair clip. You could make them a lot smaller. You can make them bigger. And once you get it put together, then you just kind of scrunch it. You scrunch it a little bit beforehand. And then once you get it all together, you go back and just play with it. And then you can add a little bead in the center if you want to, like I did this. You're off to acupuncture, Candace. We'll have a good time. I'm going to have dinner with Janine Olney and Diane Cardello from New York, some of our sisters. I can't wait. Um, so, um, you need all of, okay, so any kind of papers you want to use, tissue paper, rice paper, you definitely need wax paper and parchment paper because both of them crinkle real well and you'll need to probably use a lot of those. I just took a cup that measured about three inches 
and I took a long sheet of wax paper. I should have brought it out here to show you an example, but I took a long sheet of wax paper and I folded it in just enough, I will, um, for the cup to fit down on so that I could trace around it, okay? So I folded it once lengthwise, then I folded it again lengthwise, and again, as many times as I could fold and get that same width lengthwise. Then I cut off any extra that was left. Then I folded it the other direction, just enough to be able to trace around the circle. So I folded it, folded it again, folded it again. So how many layers so that did you do? I did a lot different layers on different papers, depending on how much paper I had. So I traced around it, then I took scissors, and I cut around. Now, you don't have to have perfect circles, because remember, we're going to scrunch them, and remember, we're trying to make them look like flower petals, and flower petals are not all evenly rounded, okay? So, any papers you have, tissue paper, if you have some pretty wrapping paper that you want to incorporate in there, you can. Just make sure that you include wax paper and parchment paper, and you'll probably use more of those than anything. Then about a three inch circle, scissors, a pencil, and then you need some small brads. And I got these, these are Creatology from Michaels. And let me show you how tiny they are. Can you see that? See, they're little bitty, which is what you want. And brads are the kind of things we used to use in, in reports at school, remember? A good brief, I can't even hold on to it. So you stick the brad through and then the two little sides come down and that's what's gonna hold your flower together. You don't want your hole in the center to be too big because if you do, the brad will go through. So what I have to, to use is an awl that Rodney uh, had from home. And it's probably a- Like an ice pick. It's like an ice pick, yes. Yeah, probably a little bit bigger than it needs to be. But it's a very sharp point. And then you need something like a piece of wood under it. And so you'll see when I start making one that once I get them together, I'm just gonna put the awl right in the center and then tap it with my hand and try to go all the way through at one time. And it'll make just that little tip, that little point tip. Then we'll go from there and I'll show you how to do the rest, okay? Uh, would you table. please cut me a piece of the um, glue off because I'm going to need some more glue. All right, can you maybe move this back a little bit and then tilt it down? Okay. Oh, I don't want these Camera in. coming back. Camera. I'm also going to use some diamond dust on the edge of one, I think. That's good. That's good. Okay. So here I've got, you can't see them, but I've got little piles of paper out here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with a piece of parchment paper, circle, and I'm going to wad it up. That's good. And then I'm just going to kind of unfold it or unwad it, okay? I've got one. Now I'm going to take a piece of wax paper right here. Wax paper wads real well. Okay, so I wadded it. Now I unwadded it. I'm just going to lay it right on top of this one. I'm going to take one of these um, circles that I cut out of coffee filters. I'm going to wad it up. See, it gets real teeny tiny. Just kind of wad it and then lay it on top. And I'm counting. I'm, I think you want about 15 total. All right, so let's take this piece of rice paper, I mean, um, oriental paper right here. See, it's not a perfect circle. That's number four. Um, let's make another one matching this right here. So, the one I showed you. This is number five, and it's smaller. So I'm trying to put it in the center. All right, then I have this that looks like rice paper. So this will be number six. You know, if you had some of those that were smaller, you could put them off center. Yeah, you could. And vary, vary them around a little mm -hmm. bit. And then I have um, this little white rice paper right here. So that's gonna be, I think that's just one piece, number seven. All right, let's get another piece of wax paper. So y'all tell me what you got going on this weekend. This is number eight. What about uh, different colors of tissue paper like you put in packages, Does that work? Definitely. If you want color, then yes, colored tissue paper. You can even get, and especially on Amazon, these little coffee filters don't want to separate. You can even get um, 
like floral tissue paper. Pattern, geometric patterns. Sky's the limit. You can get a lot of things. One, two, I forgot my count. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I'll take this little paper right here, which is another oriental paper. That'll be number 10. Then I think I'll take this bigger piece of the um, printed tissue paper. It's a little bit thicker than tissue paper. That'll be number 11. I'm gonna take this other piece to match the one I already put in there. So that's number 12. Let me wad it up a little bit. number 12. I want another piece of the coffee filter, so that'll be 13. You see any comments on mine no, are not changing? No, the last that, thing man. I see is what Candace okay. wrote. 13, piece of wax paper. have a bunch of grandkids and set up an assembly line, they can, they can really work on that. They would love this. 15, that's what Chris Hunter said about what we did yesterday with a little doll. She said this would be great to do with children. 15, and let's end with one of these little pieces of rice paper with glitter in it. Let me see the glitter. There you go. Okay, now, there's nothing magic about that number. Um, I just think that makes a good pile. So see, you, we have here our group of papers, okay? We wadded them and then kind of unwadded. All right, now I'm gonna take my piece, my lovely piece of wood. It'd be better if I had like a block of wood. I'm gonna lay these down. I'm gonna take this all, and I'm gonna put it about in the center where I think the center is, and I'm gonna, mm -hmm. <laughs> Flat piece of wood would be better. This flat piece of wood would be a lot better. I if I turn it this way, it would be better. All right, I'm going to try to hit it once with my hand and see if it went all the way through. Yep, it did. Okay, see, you can barely see it sticking out. That's good. That's what you want. Now, I'm going to quickly, before they get all messed up in my hand, take one of these brads. If I can hold on to it, I've got Butterfinger. These are so <laughs> tiny. Okay, I'm gonna go through the front. No, I'm not. Go through the front to the back. Now. Hello, Diane Newman. Hi, Diane. All right, so now I'm gonna separate the pieces right here. See, that's what the brad is. This Hello, is where Barbie. you can put the glue when you get ready to glue it or tape it on uh, a gift. Now, before I wad these back up into a flower, I'm gonna pick some kind of little bling bling that I want to go on here. This is probably too big. I mean, we could use it, but it's it's a flower in itself. So let me just, I just brought a bunch of stuff out here, you guys. Here is a little thing of three little jewels, and one of them's kind of blue. So that would look really cute right there in the center, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Fabri-Tac and Hot Melt to go on and put this down. Actually, Rodney, can we, we can't get these other pieces off here. I bet we can't. Let's just go on and do it this way. Okay. Do the next one different if you want to. So I'm gonna stick that right down in the center. Can y'all see? And let's hold it for just a second before we then try to turn it into a pretty little flower like this. You could go back with green tissue paper or get some just little leaves, some little um, leaves from um, the Dollar Tree that come on plants, you know, and cut them off and put a couple of leaves under it, glue them on if you wanted to before you put it on the package. Is it going to take that a while to stick or? I don't think so. It's not going to take too long. Okay, so now I'm going to hold on to this and while I'm on here now, I'm going to start scrunching all around this flower. I'm just going to bunch it up, sprinkle it up. Wrinkle and wrinkle. 
and just have fun playing with it. And it'll be pretty when we get through with it. The next one we do, we're gonna put some diamond dust on the edges. And I also brought out here my Distress Oxide by Ranger. <clears throat> this is in the color Vintage Photo. Um, and you could go back if you wanted to on the tips and just take your vintage photo like this and just hit right on the tips to make it look even more antique. Hey, Nikki Hopkins. Hey, Nikki. I hope you're having a better day today, sister. Okay, so, see I just put a little of the vintage photo around the edges. And now these, these are still a little bit too much together for my liking, so I'm just gonna try to separate and wad, scrunch, and move around to the next side and separate, wad, and scrunch, until I get something that I think looks like a pretty little flower. And you can probably see all kinds of applications for these. I think if you had all kinds of white, if you used white netting, and like I said, I wish I had some netting to use on this. If you use some white netting and some really elegant white oriental papers, including the parchment paper and the wax paper, because that helps give it body. Hello, Chrissy Snyder. Um, and then maybe use even some diamond dust on them and just had these sprinkled around on tables, like at the reception, I think they would be beautiful. You could even do this party favor. People could take them home with them from their table. Okay, so let me just kind of put it down and wad it up a little more in the center to look more like a little flower. You could do them tinier, do them a lot bigger. So you start out with this one with a, around a three inch? About three inch. Three inch so. cover glass to cut around. Okay, so here's this one. Here's the first one we made. <clears throat> Aren't those sweet? Throw me some hearts if you like these. I, these can be done with children. I think these would just be fun. You know what, I wonder if they could even do these in some nursing homes with some people who still had some dexterity in their hands. Just doing something simple like this might bring a smile to their faces. Okay, so here we go. Then you just put a little dot of glue or you can roll a piece of two-sided tape under here, stick it down on top of a package. I wish I had more of a package to show you, but let's just pretend like this is wrapped. Put it on there with a little tag if you wanted to and you're good to go, okay? All right, so that's two. Let's do another one and use diamond dust on it. Um, let me see if I can find another center I want to use. I also have these little pearls that come on these little um, wires right here. You could take some of these out and separate them and put them in the center. That might be pretty. Let's pull one of these out and see how we could do this. Um, let me have those snips, please, sir. So I think what I'll do is just cut this off right there and then leave these little these three right here together and I can kind of bend this up a little bit to put it and that'll be pretty as the center of a flower. Okay so let's make another another flower. Um, this time I'm gonna start with the wax paper on the bottom. It is a little bit heavier. It crinkles really well and it does help it have more body. I think I'm gonna try to crinkle them a little more this time so I have less crinkling to do when I, when I get ready to put it together. Okay, let's take a coffee filter. And again, if you don't have these brown coffee filters or can't find them, you can coffee or tea stain your own. Just, uh, if I were gonna coffee stain them, I would use instant coffee, put it in boiling water and let it steep just a little bit and then put your um, your coffee filter in there 
let it soak for just a little bit. You don't want it to disintegrate. So for just a little bit, then lay a bunch of them out on a, on a uh, cookie sheet and put them in like a 200 or 250 degree oven. Doesn't take them hardly any time to dry. And if you even crinkle them up, or if you put some down and then cross one over, if you did some doilies at the same time and put some of the doilies out on top of some of them to dry, then when they dry and you pull them out, you have the doily uh, print kind of embedded on your um, coffee filter. It's really cool. And these also, you know what else these can be used for? Junk journals. You could make some real small ones to put on the outside of a junk journal or make even a big one like this to put on. I think this would be a darling cover for a junk journal. I have yet to make a junk journal and I keep saying I'm going to do it. I'm going to get started and then every time I want to get started I get busy doing something else. It's like I've got a mental block about doing it. All right, let me get one of these pieces of oriental paper. I love this stuff. It doesn't crinkle very well, but it's already got so many fibers in it that I don't think it really matters. It's still going to get a neat effect. In fact, I may want to put that toward the top. Let me hold that one till the top. Uh, let's put some parchment paper. So Y'all tell me what you got going this weekend fun and exciting. You know those stickers that people used to use to put their receipts on? Stickers? They have like a piece of wood with a little yeah. spike sticking mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. You could take one of those and just push each individual piece down over it. You could, you as doing. long as your brads were either big enough or it, what, it was pointed enough that you weren't going to tear through the paper. Because the first one of these I did, um, I just took the awl and kind of went like this and it and it made what I thought was going to be a good size hole. And then when I put the brad in it, some of them came right off. Well, I think those receipt holders are only about eighth of an inch. Might be just about right. Maybe. And then you wouldn't have to hold them. You could just rake them and stick them on there. You see anybody making comments? Well, Debbie Haggerty, uh, Haggard Oakley hey, Deb. is watching hey, Deb. the last thing. How are you feeling, sister? Are you home? I hope so. We need some comments and some emojis. I heard Facebook's doing another one. They're always doing updates, but every time you turn around, you find out something different. Yep, Debbie got home this morning. Good, 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 good. So glad. I know you are. I'm so glad. All right, you're going to feel real good to sleep in your own bed. We're in Ashland City, Deb, at our friend's house on the river. Then I'm going to go meet some sisters from the Czech Savvy Sisterhood from New York that are in town tonight. We are. We're going to go meet them and have dinner. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I think that's going to be good enough. All right, so see, kind of scrunched them up and then kind of unscrunched them a little bit. Okay? Yeah, my getaway driver showed up and busted me out of rehab. <laughs> He's pretty good one, isn't he? Okay, going to take my all. Let me stay here for you. Put in the center and hit it once. Yep, it came through. Okay, I can see the little hole shining through there. If I can just hang on to this brad, there we go. Okay, so we'll pull it down. This time I'm going to wait and put the, the center gem in at the end so that I can really scrunch it. Okay, so see, we just had that little gold piece, but you can leave it like that. You didn't have to put a center into it. But see, now we can really grab a hold of it, wad it, scrunch it up, make it look like we're just trying to destroy it. 
Well, I think this is going to be probably the last one. Okay, so see how pretty that is? Now, let's put, I don't think I have a plate out here to put my, my glue on, and I don't have regular Mod Podge out here, but I'm going to use some of this fabric tap. You can put it on that clear plastic bag right over there. You want something to put some glue on? Yeah, but I've got to have something to put the diamond dust in. I didn't come out very prepared, guys. You need paper plate? That'd probably be good. Okay. We'll just talk for a minute while he goes to get me paper plate. So, one of my daughters and her daughters are in um, Kansas, Topeka, Kansas. The, their Christmas gift from their mom was um, a trip to Kansas for this big, oh, that's so pretty, look, country festival that's going on. And so um, they've been looking forward to this trip for a long time. So they left yesterday and drove um, there and had a, as she called it today, um, not so treehouse treehouse it was supposed to be apparently it wasn't really great but they just got there in time to sleep and then um today starts the um what i just say festival and she said there weren't as many bands there as she thought was going to be there but they are big country music fans and um so whoever was there really peaked their interest when Jana first saw it advertised last year and asked the girls did they want that for Christmas gift. So um, they're going to be there today, tomorrow and Saturday I think. And then they're going to tour around St. Louis. They've got some places to go. Thanks Deb. they got some places um, marked off that they want to go. They may go to a professional baseball game. They may not. They haven't decided. Um, but thank you. They're going to, um, you know, just have a mother-daughter weekend. It's going to be really good for them, I think. Okay. I have a little brush I brought out here. So I'm just using Fabri-Tac. Normally, I would just use Mod Podge instead of Fabri-Tac for um, the glue to put the diamond dust on. But let's, look how pretty this is. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to take it and just kind of try to rub it around the edges some. I don't want to go all the way in by any means. I'm just trying to get a little bit of glitz on here. And this this uh, fabric pack is really too thick. Um, so my podge would have worked a lot better. So do as I say, not as I do. But my mother used to tell us all the time. And we'd say, well, you did such and such. She said, do as I say, not as, not as I do. Okay, so let's see what will happen when we sprinkle some diamond dust on each other. The thing you have to be careful about, especially if you're going to use this like at a wedding or a party or anything, if you're going to use diamond dust in here, you've got to make sure that you get the excess off really, really well because diamond dust are shards of glass. That's all they are. So um, I have had them stuck in my finger and I've had them stuck in my foot and they hurt. But they're so pretty. And that just didn't do a whole lot. So let's see if we can get some more on here. I wonder what would happen if I just do this. Just kind of rub it on the tips. It probably would work better than what I was doing with that brush. Y'all, fabric tack is good for most anything. I have kind of fallen in love with this glue. But it is thick. So, again, we're not trying to get perfection on this. We're just kind of trying to get a little idea of what all this looks like. Let's see if we like it. I think this would be cute if you had a themed birthday party and you got, um, whoops, wrong place. 
you got um, tissue paper to go along with that thing and then made a bunch of little flowers and put on the presents. Okay. So I don't know if y'all can see the little glitter and shine or not, but it just gives it a little something something. And again, for a wedding, I think it would be beautiful. Um, Debbie, I'm just doing this to show ideas of by using the brad, you can glue from the back or put a piece of double-sided tape on the back. And I just think they would be darling to use for um, any any time you're doing a gift for any reason. But I think since we've been talking about Christmas and doing Christmas in July, I think that um, this would be really a cute way when you wrap presents to just put these on top instead of bows, maybe. Because this is the kind of thing anybody can do when you're sitting around watching TV. You know, you could knock out tons of these while you're watching television at night and just put them someplace where they'll be taken care of until you need them. And then when you get ready to wrap your Christmas presents, you got all these cute little floral things to use instead of or in addition to um, ribbon and bows. So that's all. It's just a it's just a fun something something. I put a, you know some bling in there. I actually had bought at a garage sale or consignment shop or something this real cheap necklace that had all kinds of bling on it. And I asked Rodney to take it apart for me today um, so I could use the pieces on here. And I think it's turning out real well. It would be good to use um, Totally Dazzle too, of course. And then, you know, you can go to Michael's, you can go to Hobby Lobby for sure and find all kinds of bling. So we have this one. It's really pretty. And I think at weddings would be gorgeous. These also would be neat if you have a tree that you leave up year round. You could make these for each season. You could make them in reds and pink tissue paper for Valentine's Day. You could do all kinds of shades of green for St. Patrick's Day. You could do red, white, and blue for Memorial Day, for 4th of July. Um, you know, you could do them in all colors for Christmas. You could do them in pastel colors for Easter. I mean, so if you, I keep a little tree up in our bedroom, it hasn't been decorated since I undecorated for Easter, so kind of fell short and didn't do anything for, um, for the summer. But, you know, Thanksgiving, you can decorate it. And things like this, you don't have to have an ornament hook. You just sit them in the branches. You just make all kinds of little of these flowers that look so sweet and just stick them in the tree. And then when the season's over, you take them out and store them in a baggie or a box that's covered, and then you have them next year. <laughs> Rodney just made this one. It just stuck the string in there. And he stuck the strings from our project yesterday where we had used all the African fabrics. And um, so this is a big one with, you know, fewer petals on it. That's pretty, though. It looks almost like a magnolia. No, the bottom ones I didn't put in the center. I put them out to the edges of the Susan outside. So we have, I'm going to scrunch this one a little bit more before we look at it. It needs to be looser. It's too tight for me. Okay. So we've got this one. We've got this one that we use the Distress Oxide on the tips to make it look older. And then we've got this one. We've got three little flowers. It took us, one of them already had made, but we've been sitting out here probably about 20 minutes and made two really cute little flowers out of oriental papers, tissue paper, but remember that the most of it is or to give it the, the body and the substance you need is um, parchment paper and wax paper. And you know, again, while you're sitting around watching TV, take them, cut them out. And if you just fold your paper, see, I just fluffed it up and it looks even prettier. You just take your paper, I, I have, like the parchment paper was about this wide, this long or wide. So I tore off a piece real big and then I, I measured my cup. I sat it down to see how far I needed to fold it in to measure around the circle. And I creased it. And then I just kept folding, folding, folding to the point that I thought I could still cut it with my scissors. 
Then any extra I just trimmed off and then I turned it the other direction, folded, measured to see where it would fit, folded, folded, and then I just cut them out. So you could do a bunch at one time. And like I said, they're not all gonna be even, they're not all gonna be perfect, that's totally fine. But I just think they make sweet little uh, toppers for gifts. Y'all, I don't like, at Christmas time, I never, well, I don't think I never, I rarely will put a bow on a present. Um, I think that they look beautiful that way, and I have friends that do that, and I envy them because I think they're gorgeous. But by the time I wrap everybody's presents, I'm like over it. I don't want to sit there and wrap ribbon around it or, you know, tie ribbon and then try to make a bow or spend a lot of money, you know, buying pre-made bows. But I just hate to just wrap the box, you know, for the children. I know all they do is rip into it anyway, but usually my gifts are kind of out and showing for a while. And so since I don't like to do bows, I thought this might be a good compromise on at least some of them, you know, because I stack gifts. So maybe the top gifts on each pile could have one. I don't know. I just think they're pretty. I think you can reuse them. If you don't, they get torn. What have you lost? A little bit of money in tissue paper and maybe some bling. Um, <clears throat> if you were doing a present for like a teenager, you could do like comic books. Mm, that's a good They'd idea. They'd be colorful and they'd, mm -hmm. they'd look through the bows. That's a great right. idea. Comic books, you could mix comic books and newspaper, newsprint. Um, you could use magazine paper, but uh, magazine paper is a little bit heavier weight. It, it would probably wad and crinkle real well. Um, but I don't know that you'd be able to make as many layers. So um, anyway, we used all kinds of oriental paper, tissue paper, parchment paper. We used the small brads, where'd they go? From Crea Creatology. Right right there. Hmm? The brads are right there, I want the packages. Yeah, I want the package to show them. It's that brand, it's this brand right here, that that Cre Creatology, I think it's called. Um, and, oh, here it is. It's a little bitty package. It has how many pieces? <clears throat> 110 pieces. That'd make a lot of flowers. But they're teeny tiny. And I got these at Michael's. So you've got the tissue paper, the rice paper, uh, parchment paper, wax paper, coffee brads. Filters. Oh, I used coffee filters that were already this brown color, but you could copy your tea stain them yourself if you wanted to. And then just put them in the oven and let them dry. If you do that, try what I said sometime. You know, at Michael's, you can get packages of the large, medium, and small doilies, paper doilies, and they all come in one package. You get a lot of them. So if you want to copy and tea stain some of them to look older, which you can also, by the way, use one of the bigger ones and fold it in half, and then glue that to the back of an angel to look like angel wings. I forgot to bring my angel out from yesterday. I was gonna show them how I did the face. Um, but anyway, then you copy and tea stain those, and once you get them wet, kind of wring them out. Then if you've got just plain um, rice paper or, or plain coffee filters or whatever that you've tea stained and coffee stained, lay them on a coffee sh uh, cut cookie sheet, and then lay one of the, one or two of the doilies over them. Stick them in a 200, 250 degree oven. It doesn't take hardly any time for them to dry. Then when you take them out and you take that doily off, it's left the negative print on the paper underneath. So then you have your doily that's coffee stained and then you have coffee stained rice paper or coffee filters that have a little design to them. So it just kind of gives them a little more interest. You want the artifact of the day? Yeah, what's the artifact of the day? We haven't been doing that. Uh, instead of cutting circles, it's sometimes a lot easier just to fold your paper two or three times mm -hmm. and then you just cut half circles out of it uh, and then the fold and the open up will be circles. Did y'all get that? That say makes it a little easier sometimes than cutting around the whole circle. Good idea. Good idea. I had a lot of extra paper and little scraps laying around that's for sure. So okay you guys uh, we will be on at some point tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure when we're picking up uh, some friends and taking them out on the boat tomorrow. We're going to pick them up at 10. And um, I'm not sure how long they'll be here. The project for tomorrow um, is not real hard. It takes a little time, but it's not too bad. So that may be um, a tomorrow night live that we're going to do. 
or late in the in the afternoon, depending on what time we get off the boat. And um, it'll be another one that I think you all will really enjoy. You may have seen other creators do it. I did it last year and loved it, <clears throat> and so I wanted to share it with you all. So um, anyway, I just again I can't emphasize enough how important it is to be signed up for my Telegram. Y'all know it took me like two seconds to send that telegram out today to say when I was going to be on. I cut those, I cut those um, pearls to put in the center of that and ended up putting something else. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Sign up for telegram. Oh, yeah. Telegram. So it took me two seconds to send that out. And I didn't even go over my business page or my personal page and put it, but it's so easy. So it's it's pinned to the top of my page, and um, feel free to invite people to come and have fun with us. We have a good time. So, I love you guys. I hope you have a blessed day, and if you get an opportunity, go out and bless someone. Bye.